How's it going guys? Please like and subscribe. Welcome back. Thanks for watching. Um, how's your weekend going? You guys realizing there ain't really nothing on YouTube? There ain't really nothing going on in the news. Stocks are going crazy. You know, some are, some aren't. But uh, crypto's going going crazy too. I think it hit 21,000. So, you know, I can't wait for coin on Tuesday. Fortunately, I'm not going to be able to buy any more coin. But I kind of bought what I wanted to of it. I felt like, you know, I, I did trade um, meta for my Coinbase, I believe, position at $32. I think Meta I sold at like $130. But I own Meta in my personal um, account anyway, so I'm, I'm still rooting for Meta. And if Meta drops, I might freak out again because that was just crazy. But um, And then I used my Under Armour to buy my Tesla, I believe. So... You know, Tesla's moved up a lot more than Under Armour has, I can tell you that much. But if you don't, I mean, I still would love to have Under Armour. So that's still on my my list of stocks to buy. But I decided, you know, if these continue to run, which I don't, there's really not a reason. You know, you still got Russia um, just uh, hit Ukraine again, Kaviv you know killed some more people so you know that's terrible it doesn't seem like that's going to end anytime soon so you know i i just could see another leg down in the market um but if not um i will look into buy coin if i can get it like under 45 to 30 dot 30 45 to 40 dollars in the 30 range is what i was trying to say but um if not i gotta look at other stocks to to get um right now i've been looking at um hertz which um i go a little bit into the numbers of hertz it's also one of those meme type stocks i'm not sure on how many more of those i i really want to to own but um this one doesn't look bad and you they do seem to be making you know the right moves to kind of be the number one rental car company and if they can do that then you know they're worth they're worth it this at this evaluation um the revenue they bring in is you know 8.6 billion dollars they have free cash flow of 2.7 billion dollars with gross margins of 30%, um, operating cash flow of 33%, with a market cap of $278 million. That is incredible. But I think where you're getting that from is they're in debt $13 billion. They do have a billion dollars in cash, and of course, if they liquidate, you know, they have much more than $13 billion. But we don't want any of that to happen. So, I would probably rate their balance sheet pretty much like a B, you know, because of that debt. That debt is is no good. So um, I would be a buyer of Hertz, but I would need it at about $12. It's definitely not there. Um, but there is a stock that I'm definitely interested in, and I'll be looking to actually get some of this on Tuesday hopefully i'll let you know whenever it happens but it's silvergate capital uh the ticker is si this company has be a better balance sheet than any of the companies i have in my portfolio to be honest with you so um the revenue is 206 million it's a small cap which i'd like small caps at this time so with a free cash flow of 52 million dollars but their gross margin 54%, net margin 45%, operating cash flow at 55%. Um, revenue year over year, they're growing at about 102%. Um, market cap of only 417 million. So it's about two to one, but I don't care. They, they, they have $13 billion in cash and 1.6 billion dollars in debt 
this is such a grossly undervalued company. Um, and it, it, it's silver, you know. I think it's also a bank. So, I, I mean, I, I like that even more. Um, so, yeah, Silvergate Capital, SI is that ticker. So, yeah, um, as far as news going on, Tesla lowered their uh, car their car prices. I think they did that more to get into that EV tax credit, you know. So, it's not as bad as people think, and I think they will actually sell more cars because of it. Of course, lower price, more people are going to buy. With Tesla's margins, they can afford to go down a few thousand dollars, and then they're still getting that money from the uh, government. So, good move, I think, on Tesla to drop those prices. Um, definitely not thinking about selling. Now, what am I really into buying Tesla? Maybe. If we get around the, the 110 level, I'll probably look to add more Tesla. I need to add a little more charge point too. So, you know, I'll probably just add SI. I've been looking at other companies, but there were oil companies. Some oil companies have phenomenal balance sheets, but I don't. The oil world is a whole different world. So I don't really play in that. That's way more of a trader, even though I do do a little bit of trading because, you know, you see me in and out of a few stocks. But I have enough tax loss harvested money that I can I can do that <laughs> but um yeah I mean I got burnt on a, a Jack Jackson play um, and I don't know if I'll go back to him but I'm, I don't like to be jaded I mean I'm never really lost in crypto so I'm not really jaded in crypto so I, I'm keeping my eyes open if I had to pick one it would probably unfortunately maybe be the planet um, unfortunately but i don't know i'm staying away from that i already got other speculative plays i don't need too many of them that's why i'm trying to look for good balance sheet stocks to kind of maybe have to carry this portfolio if there is a major drop in a lot of the clown stuff leaves the market. I'm definitely paying attention. I'll let you know if I see anything. Uh, these bankruptcy stocks, that's also something that, that that have been getting played a lot. A lot one one that hasn't been brought up is Party City, which means there's probably still some meat on the bones in Party City. I'm not going to look at the numbers. It's a bankrupt company and I'm not a trader like that. That you got to be on it. And most of that kind of money is made in the after hours. So I don't really play that game. Um, I would rather hold for, you know, j until the stock goes up. I mean, right now we're up 60% on Coinbase. And I have no urge to pull. If anything, I have more urge to buy. Because um, Coinbase is like an... an a play on all crypto so that's why i really like it and i believe robin hood is too and i think robin hood will actually get more into crypto um because that's what they do their retail they they capture retail it's easy to do you know so yeah i'm gonna keep my eyes open on some stocks um and please like and subscribe and i'll catch you on the next one thanks a lot guys